Oh, hello, darlings. Are you trying to finesse your way into the Blue Lagoon for free? Well, yeah. Mm. Just keep going. Hey, I'm B. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. This is 5,000 year old moss that I'm gonna try not to walk on, but. This is what Reykjavik looks like during sunrise. I bet you guys are like, wow, B's awake during sunrise. Yes, I am. Also, because it's 11. <laughs> well, I'm presuming that one of the only reasons you even wanna go to Iceland is a blue lagoon. So the Blue Lagoon isn't even in Reykjavik. That's like the main city that everyone goes to when they're in Iceland. It's like 45 minutes outside. Thank you. What does it say that you won't blow off the place? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Some people think that the Blue Lagoon is like a natural thing. It's not. I think they had a geothermal plant like explode or something, and now we're all like bathing in it. So here's how you get in for free. So first of all, there's two parts of the Blue Lagoon. The regular tickets are like 35-ish dollars, 45-ish dollars, and then those come with like not a private changing area. You're just like in the place with everybody else. You have to buy towels, I mean rent towels, and like robes and stuff. Um, you do get a free mask included in that. The silica mask and you also get a drink which can be like champagne, beer, or green drink. In the private area you get escorted up to your private. I was about to say concubine but then I realized that was like not the not even close to the word so quarters you get escorted into your private quarters where you get your private shower with your private blue lagoon mineral creams and you get your robes and it's relaxing. <laughs> Sweet little client. This one's for you. But this is where I finessed the situation. This is where I'm a genius. So the Blue Lagoon actually has a hotel that's very bouge, very nice, and rooms there start at like $300, depending on the season, depending on the day, literally depending on so many things, but basically the rooms are $300. And if you get a room at the Blue Lagoon, you can upgrade to a private retreat experience for like 30 euros for two people. So you can get the whole private first class experience and a hotel room for the same price as just buying the private tickets. But nobody tells you that, like literally, it's not even written clearly on their website. I had to email them and I got kind of a really convoluted answer and I was like, hmm. So after you get into the hotel, you take a little shuttle that leads you to the Blue Lagoon. Make sure you schedule a time because I heard they fill up so fast. <laughs> this walkway is so funny to me because you know everyone walks in there wearing swimsuits as their undergarments. And I bet you thousands of dollars that someone forgot underpants. So I'm just like looking at all these people like smirking like someone's not wearing underpants. But... I don't know who it is. Oh my God. Can I do it? That was so bad. Okay. These are the iconic pictures I took of Nick. Um, this is Steve Jobs, Nick Jobs, <laughs> Thick Daddy Nick. And that's the one he took of me. It's actually pretty cool because you can see the difference between an iPhone quality pic and a camera quality pic. These smoothies are so good. Yesterday I had the strawberry one and they're only 90 calories for this whole thing because they're only the Sky or yogurt and strawberries. So good. Then we went to the lava restaurant for dinner. It was really nice, except we were so tired from being like in the blue lagoon and like you're just really relaxed because the water is so hot. Um, we weren't really that hungry, so I think we just got soups and an appetizer and it was so delicious. Um <laughs> Saw this in Casey Neistat's videos. <laughs> A lot of movement. Bread. Some crispy potatoes, dill oil as well, and fresh dill. There's some bright bread crumbs and pearl onion. Uh, the soups are cream based, you've got um, whipped cream on top with some dolls, which is like crushed seaweed, like really oh, fine. Cool. And at the bottom you have um, langoustine, which is like a baby lobster. <laughs> baby lobster. <laughs> All right, Thank enjoy. You. Langoustine is actually one of Iceland's like traditional foods. And then for dessert we had this strawberry situation, <laughs> the situation. Um, Nick ordered tea and I can see the regret in his face. He's like, B? Beef? 
This is ASMR. Oh yeah. Good idea. Okay. And then you can stay in the Blue Lagoon until I think like 6 p.m. And it gets dark in Iceland at 4 p.m. So if you pick one of the later time slots, you'll actually be there as the sun's setting. And then even when it's pitch black, me and Nick didn't get to experience that because we left before it got dark. But that seems really like weird. Like, hello? So this was the end of the Blue Lagoon. And there's a little shop where you can buy the products. I would not recommend them because my hair is still like Hermione Granger's. The Blue Lagoon wrecked my hair. I'm suing. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Today's giveaway winner is Greg. Oh, great success. If you guys want to win a giveaway, all you have to do is tell me what you want for Christmas and I will send it to you. And just write down your email address and give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Love you. Bye.